The Building Technology Program at MIT recently purchased a Heliodon for outside direct shading studies of architectural scale models. The Heliodon can be used by students at the School of Architecture and Urban Planning. To arrange for a time, please contact the administrator of the Building Technology Program. This video tutorial describes in detail how to set up and use the Heliodon. Hi there, this is Flo, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Heliodon to visualize lighting conditions in a scale model. So the things you'll need are your scale model, the Heliodon, and the latitude of your site. In this example, our model is set in Cambridge, which has a latitude of around 42 degrees north. First, you'll need to bring the Heliodon outside on a clear, sunny day. Find a level spot away from shadows, and ideally, you want to be in an environment that's similar to that of your actual site. Step two, adjust the angle of the platform to the latitude of your site. You can use the white markers as a reference, and the angle of the platform from the base is actually 90 degrees minus your latitude, but the marker has been set up in reverse, so you just need to set it to the latitude of your site. Step three, attach your scale model to the platform. Make sure to orient your model so that the south side aligns with the hinge of the platform. So here you can see the arrow pointing to the hinge that corresponds with south and in the opposite direction to north. Step four, rotate the table so that it faces the sun directly. And you can tell this by looking at the shadow of the heliodon, it should line up with the legs of the heliodon and point directly away from the platform. Step five, set up the sundial and attach it to the platform facing south. For this, you'll need the 3D printed angle measure, the Allen wrench, and the sundial that are all found in the black case. And here you can also see the pin that's stored inside the sundial. And just make sure to return it to that location when you're done using the sundial because it can break easily. So first, set the sundial to the latitude of your site. And next, screw the pin into the center of the sundial. And depending on the latitude of your site, you might want to screw the pin in first if the angle is too small. There's a north arrow on the sundial that you can use to position it so that it sits along the north-south axis of the platform. So north should be pointing away from the platform hinge. Step six, adjust the tilt of the table so that the sundial points to your desired date. So here you can see the end of the shadow from the pin falling on the dateline for June 22nd. Typical dates to test are the winter and summer solstice as well as the equinox. Once that's all set up, you're ready to record video or photos, and here we've attached a GoPro to the doorway of the model. You can also use your camera phone or build another sort of contraption to attach a recording device to your model or the platform. Step eight, turn the platform using the circular handle to simulate different times of the day. Here, it's helpful to have two people, one to turn the platform and the other to follow the sundial to read out the different times of the day. So here you can see how the shadow from the pin follows the dateline for December 22nd. 
And to test a different day, just readjust the tilt of the table starting from step 6. Thanks for watching! And here are two videos taken in this tutorial from December 22nd and June 22nd.